Hello folks, welcome back to Coding for Beginners. Today we are going to talk about a Kaggle. From how to create account on Kaggle to how to participate in your first competition. Overall, we'll talk about how to become expert in using Kaggle. Also, we'll talk about the five super useful courses which are present on the Kaggle and which are absolute free and also they are providing you certificates. So without any ado, let's start the video. There are a bunch of websites, I mean a lot of websites for CS guys, right? Like LeetCode, CodeChef, Interviewbit, which are somewhat into SD's job. They will have OOP inside, they will have some system design. I mean if you want to get into SD jobs, these websites are super useful. I have made a separate video for this. Please. But what is there for data science? Or we have some useful websites or there are no yes we data scientists guys have the websites kaggle is one of them creating account on kaggle is much easier you just have to type kaggle on the google next to it sign up process you have to select your name and the username which will be displayed on your kaggle platform after you register on the kaggle you can see cute duck on your right side that's you. I mean, that's your profile. After clicking on, you can the word novice. Types of competition. First, featured competition attracts some of the most formidable experts and offer price pools going as high as a million dollars. However, they remain accessible to anyone and everyone. Whether you are an expert in the field or a completely novice, featured competitions are a valuable opportunity to learn skills and techniques from a very best in the field. Second competition is research competition. They do not usually offer prizes or points due to experimental in nature, but they offer an opportunity to work on problems which may not have a clean or an easy solution and which are integral to a specific domain or area in slightly less competitive environment. They are called competitor competitions entered hosted, featured, research, getting started, playground analytics. Third competitions are getting started competitions which are the easiest, most approachable competition in the Kaggle. Novice people should start with this. These are semi-permanent competitions that are meant to be used by new users, users just getting their foot in the door in the field of machine learning, that is data science. They offer no prizes or the points, it's okay, but they give you a brief about in data science journey. Please note that once a submission is more than two months old, it will be invalidated and no longer count towards the leaderboard. This gives a new Kagglers, I mean novice people, the opportunity to see how their scores stack up against a cohort of the competitors rather than many tens of thousands of users. This is what screen looks like, our news feed, we'll get back to this. So let's get to the our profile. You can see over the competition novice. This is the first step of a uh, cavalry. What is meant by novice guy? Novice guy refers to you just you join the community. There are further categories like novice, then contributor, then expert, then master and a grandmaster. Novice is who is started with. Contributor is you have completed your profile, engaged with the community and full expert. Run first notebook or script, run one competition or task submission, make one comment and give an upload. That will what makes you contributor on the. The next category is expert. You have to complete it, a significant body of work on the Kaggle. Like once you reached in the expert tariff of category, you will be entered into site wide Kaggle ranking for that category. So rankings are not for novice or contributor guy, but once you are entered in the expert zone, you will have the rank associated with your profile. The fourth category is master. You have demonstrated excellence in one or more categories of expertise on Kaggle to reach this prestigious tier. Masters in the competition category are eligible for exclusive master only competitions. They also host a master only competitions, which are only for master category. The, the fifth and last one category is Grandmaster. You have consistently demonstrated outstanding performance in one or more categories 
of expertise on Kaigal to reach this pinnacle tire, you are the best of the best. So Grandmaster is for those who have shown like really expertise in their previous tire like expert for the master. Once they do very consistently good outstanding performance, they will level the grand. Over is a courses. Courses are very useful to gain the skills you need to be independent data science project. We pair down a complex topics to their practical components so you gain user skills in a few hours. So this all courses can be learned in a few hours. You can also do this. So you can leave Python is for five years, into two ML is three hours, finals is for four hours, intermediate ML is for four hours. This is of course uh, next to this. Yes, this is a foundation course and this is a a bit in intermediate course then we have feature engineering data visualization intro to sql advanced sql deep learning and very bunch of courses which are very important in for data scientist and also to solve the projects which are held in the competitions are very useful so those are the built on this foundation and this foundation is all for free you don't have to pay a rupee for that or a dollar for that just so you can go in the python if you want to learn python you can see more prerequisites Telecom, you can see the user rankings where independent rankings are displayed over like computation data sets notebooks and discussion no yes so let's become a so let's go into home we have to run one notebook or script what we'll do is we just click on the one one notes one notebook copy so they're importing them here <laughs> the main part is to run all this code notebook we will make minimize the console save version oh, okay save okay so now we'll go back and see if we have any so let's see you can see one notebook or script is run so now let's see how can we make the task submission to start with the competition there are types like overview data code discussion leaderboard rules in overview you can see how to get started with the competition in the right place the challenge is what is to be faced in this competition and different kind of like how to submit your petition in the category and that's not it right? so for this we will do submit petition is what but we don't have any like we didn't solve anything we just wanted to be brief about a thing i have already solved this csv file so i will just directly upload it your submission should be in csv file and that is what my csv file is oh it's in uh, gender submission this one. It will get uploaded. Describe submission. As you have a gender submission, and that's how we have uploaded the CSV file. And second step is describe submission, and let's make this. we are scoring a submission. That means it's evolving. It's a complete. So that's a good news. And we'll go in the home to check if we have got the notice. Yes, we are on. Uh, we have completed the. Contributor steps and now we are competition contributor earlier. It was a competition novice. Now. It's competition contributor Now to become expert we have to do this or in data set we get three bronze medals or in notebooks should have five or in this case fifth. That's all from my side. I hope this video was helpful for you if please like this video if you haven't subscribed to his channel yet, please subscribe it as it really motivates me to do more videos like this and also it will notify you for my next. Doing these things just take a seconds of you but really makes my day. See you in the next.